اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ سبحان و تعالی سیٹ ان دی ورسز 41 اینڈ 42 آف دی چپٹر 41 ان اللذین کفروا بالذکر لما جاءهم و انه لکتاب عزیز Allah said, surely, those people who disbelieved in the admonition when it came to them. In, in the bracket it says that they are not hidden from us. وَإِنَّهُ لَكِتَابٌ عَزِيز And indeed, it is a mighty book. That is, Quran is a mighty book. And another translation says, And indeed, it is a book of exalted power. The other verse, verse number 42 says, لا يأتيه الباطل من بين يديه ولا من خلفه تنزيل من حكيم حميد No falsehood can come, no falsehood can approach it from before or behind it. It is a revelation from the all wise and all praiseworthy. So, this Qur'an is a mighty book and it is explained in the commentary by Maulana al-Mawdwidi uh, what is the meaning of mighty book and what is the meaning of that no falsehood can come to it, can approach it from before it and from behind it. It may be, if, uh, if I get time, that I will explain that inshallah in another video. Or you can see it at tafheem.net towards understanding Quran. So you can, you can see it there. But I want to say, what I want to say is that Quran al Karim is so much preserved that in the last more than 1400 years, the letters Qaf, which means Q, and the letter Saad, which is uh, like S in English, and the letter Noon, which is like N, could not be changed in more than 1400 years. The letter Qaf, it is the starting of a surah, and the name of the surah is Qaf. Bismillah rahman rahim Qaf wal Quran al Majid. And similarly, the letter Saad is the name of the surah and the surah the chapter starts with the letter saad and the letter noon it is found in the beginning of surah al qalam al qalam means the pen and this allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, says bismillahir rahmanir rahim noon wal qalam wa ma yasturun it means Noon, I swear by the pen and what they write, with what they write with it. Ma anta binaymati rabbika bimajnoon. You are not made by the grace of Allah, by the grace of your Lord. And in the same context, in verse number 5, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَسَتُبُ سُرُوا وَيُبُ سُرُونَ بِأَيِّكُمُ الْمَفْتُونَ So, you will see and they will see which of you is afflicted with madness. See, this is in the Surah Al-Qalam in which Muhammad is addressed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starting with the letter Noon and no one could change this letter Noon. And what, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the Prophet Muhammad in the, in the beginning بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نون والقلم وما يسترون الله سبحانه وتعالى started with the letter نون which is preserved as نون as N only N and then Allah سبحانه وتعالى swore by the pen and what they write with it and this means actually the Quran which is written with the pen ما أنت بنعمة ربك بمجنون you by the grace of your Lord are not made. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised the Prophet Muhammad in the next few verses 
and in the uh, verse number 5 and 6 Allah said that you will see and they will see who is afflicted by madness because the uh, the, the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam when he before he, he had become uh, a prophet the people of makkah used to call him amin and sadiq amin the trustworthy and sadiq uh, the, the 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 truthful one but when he presented the holy quran due to jealousy they started calling him a magician uh, a poet a madman so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has swore by this statement of the holy quran that you are not mad and they will see and you will see who is afflicted by madness so the quran that means the quran the holy quran is a proof of the prophethood of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa wasallam it has such miracles it has such miraculous verses which are now defeating the newly discovered facts of science like the the big bang theory and many many others so quran is the book of allah it is a mighty book allah said that it is a mighty book innahu la kitabun aziz it is a mighty book it is a book of exalted power because this is the book of almighty god the creator the sovereign of mankind we are the creation and that is the creator of all mankind and of the whole universe so how can all mankind you challenge god or you can find you can fight against him how is is it possible it is only stupidity so every man every woman must take heed must bow down to the to the to the lord of the universe the creator the lord and must repent to him we all repent to him this him we just choose because we have no other word otherwise we cannot say that allah is he or allah is she allah almighty god is the unique being now anyone who will seriously try to understand the holy quran will accept him will with accept uh, will accept muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to be a true prophet because quran is a self witness book that it cannot be written by human being Quran is a live statement which right away right away answers your questions many times while reciting reading the holy quran a question arises in my mind for example i will see the answer right in front of me on the pages of the holy quran it is a live statement quran will raise in ranks people on the day of judgment and will lower the others on the day of judgment quran will intercede and it will raise the ranks of some and will lower the ranks of others the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also told us that in this world there will be nations which will be raised by the holy quran and there will be nations which will be abased by the holy quran due to the holy quran for example today china is getting destroyed the reason is their intention to attack the holy quran that is what what i was to remind and i am a sincere a sincere friend I am a sincere sister. Sincerely, I advise the Chinese authorities to repent to God, to repent to Allah. They should not be ready to 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 meet the uh, the destroyed end of China. 
See how many types of coronavirus has uh, of virus has, have appeared there. Coronavirus, SARS, bird flu. Their birds are also killed. Many people are killed. They say that many crows have come in the air. We, we think it may be vultures because they are not giving correct figure because there may be so many dead people that they won't be able to, to bury them. So vultures have, may have come on, on those uh, dead bodies. We must say astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. SARS cases have appeared. New types of viral outbreaks are appearing in, uh, in China. While the authorities, they said we will defeat coronavirus. No arrogance will help them. We mankind should not be arrogant in front of the Lord. The Lord of the worlds. Why don't you accept that you are very, very weak human being? We human beings are very weak. If somebody is made a king, is made a, a, a president, is made a great authority, is given great power, all that is given by the Almighty God. To whom he wants, gives kingdom, and from whom he wants, takes the kingdom. So the kingdom with any king, or the authority, the high position with any authority, that is given by Almighty God. And it will be with him or her until God wants it to be with him and her. And when God wants to take it, so it will be taken from them. You see, many kings have passed, many pharaohs have passed away. What was their end? You must think, O oh mankind, and you must think, oh, the, oh, the, oh, the people of China and the authorities of China. Why don't you repent to God? Why, do, why don't you take your, your words back? Why don't you say, we have decided not to ch touch the Holy Quran with such a bad intention? Subhanallah, arrogance will not help you. The whole nation is getting destroyed. Subhanallah. Why don't you understand and why don't you repent to God? God is the most merciful. God will, will remove all this trouble from you within minutes. Inshallah. I am telling you these words in the light of the Holy Quran because God had removed such troubles from Pharaoh and his people again and again. In the time of Musa, alayhi salam, nine signs were sent to Pharaoh and his chiefs and his armies. And every time a trouble used to come, a red, for example, once blood happened in all water. So when, when the children of Israel and Musa, alayhi salam, they used to drink water, it, it was clean. And when Pharaoh and his chiefs and his armies drank water, that was full of blood. So they requested Musa alayhi salam, please you pray to God to remove this from us. Then we will believe and then we will leave these children of Israel to go with you. We will free them. Like today China has arrested and uh, uh, imprisoned uh, Muslims in concentration camps. So this is not the first chance, first case. But China is, has done much more, I think. Pharaoh was also torturing uh, Bani Israel, the followers of Musa alayhi salam, the children of Israel. So he used to promise, okay, just pray to God and then we will uh, believe in God and we will leave these uh, children of Israel, go with you. He prayed to God and the water became clean. Then they turned away from their promise. See, there is a lesson. In the, in the verses of the Holy Quran, great lesson. This is history. Frogs came in everything. Everywhere frogs and frogs and frogs and frogs and frogs. Pharaoh and his chiefs and his followers, they became 
tired of the trouble of frogs again they requested musa alay salam to pray to allah and musa alay salam prayed to allah and the frogs disappeared so in the light of these verses are coming in the verses of surah al araf chapter al araf i am telling you and i am advising you in the light of these verses of the holy quran that the authorities of china instead of becoming arrogant and saying that we will defeat coronavirus no you cannot defeat it what are you going to defeat now coronavirus or sars virus or bird flu subhanallah you are a human being you are all human beings just repent to almighty god say toba astaghfirullah we will respect quran this is god's book and we will we will not touch it with the wrong uh, intention and also leave the muslims your people are dying your whole china is in a, is in a horrible state if you are not accepting then that is again another mistake so just repent to allah subhanahu wa taala and allah subhanahu wa taala the most merciful will will forgive you inshallah inshallah uh this is my sincere advice now uh the quran you know it has many great qualities for example the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us that on the day of judgment it will intercede for people for its readers and followers those who follow it and we also must convey the message of the holy quran uh, to the whole world and so the quran will raise some in ranks and will lower others and in this world nations will be raised due to the holy quran and nation will fall due to the holy quran these are the saying of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and allah knows best his exact words therefore attacking the holy quran a unique book which is a source of prosperity for all mankind and the jinn also in here and in the hereafter now those then those groups or those individuals who try to attack this quran surely allah's justice will come against them allah's anger is a very very severe think so we must seek the refuge of allah from allah's justice and from allah's anger because on the day of judgment it will be only allah's justice which will take people to hell and this world in in this world also allah's justice kills the nations and in this world they are killed only when they transgress the the boundaries otherwise in this world this is not a place of accounting and judgment allah will is not passing judgment on us in this world but when the people there 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 may be individuals or there may be groups of people who who are very bad transgressors and they cross the limits then allah subhanahu wa taala catches them in this world also but the actual accounting and judgment will be done in the live here after and then hell will be the place for such people may allah subhanahu wa taala protect us and the hell is very bad place to go to and it is the everlasting punishment for the transgressors and believers disobedient arrogant people i told you the only treatment in fact you should see my first video to china it was reminder to china in which i had reminded china the fate of the king abraha in the past who had tried to attack kaaba sharifa in makkah 
with, a, an, uh, with an army which had elephants. And that the, the incident had happened just 50 days before the birth of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had sent crowds of birds on that army of Abraha, the king Abraha. He was a Christian king. And the birds had small pebbles in their claws and their beaks, in their beaks, and the whole army was made like eaten straws. I have given these uh, a little bit details in the first video, which is reminder to China. I also give a, uh, a video, the treatment and solution of this problem is spiritual. No matter how much you do scientifically. But here the problem is spiritual. So you must depend to Allah Almighty. Here again as I remind this sincerely, very sincerely. Please depend to Allah. We repent to Allah. We say Astaghfirullah. We pray to Allah, Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Astaghfirullah. May you protect us. May you protect us from your anger, Ya Allah. As Allah's anger has come, especially on China, but it is catching up the whole world. It is catching up the whole world. See, this is Allah's great mercy. And this is Allah's great uh, kindness that this outbreak is not the same in the rest of the world as it is in China. But the source of terrible sin, the source of arrogance is in China. It is located in China at present. The whole world is full of sins. The whole world is full of arrogance. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Halim, the forbearer. As sabur the patient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives time to every individual and to every nation to take heed. Allah doesn't catch the people on their sins at once. Allah gives them time. Allah has said in the Holy Quran this, this, uh, from this uh, attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us so Allah doesn't catch people at once, although the people are making terrible, terrible sins now. Bloodshed, tortures, extreme cruelty and wickedness. But Allah as sabur the patient one, Allah al-Halim, al the forbearer one, is giving time. So Alhamdulillah, until now Allah didn't catch the whole world in that rapid outbreak. But we fear. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not bring it on us also. And I preach. I advise. Those. Especially those. Who have declared. That they will change the holy Quran. Quran is a mighty book. Allah has it for, informed us. That it is a mighty book. It is a book of. Exalted power. In Aziz. In Surah Fusilat. The other name of the surah is Hamim Sajda, verses 41 and 42. And Allah said that no batil can approach it, no falsehood. La yatihi al batilu min bani adihi wala min khalfihi tanzilum min min tanzilum min hamidin azizun hamid. Tanzilum, wait, I I forgot the verse. Tanjil min hakim min hamid. That battle, falsehood, cannot approach it. But in the whole kitab on Aziz before this in verse number 41. Allah said that those who disbelieve, they are not hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is watching them. And this is a mighty book. And falsehood cannot commit, come to it. And falsehood, Falsehood cannot approach it from before it or from behind it. And this is a revelation of the all-wise, all-praiseworthy. See, 
Allah is so much praiseworthy that Allah is not catching up the whole world at once. He's giving us time. So we say, Astaghfirullah. And I advise the sinners to say, Astaghfirullah, to declare that they will not touch the Holy Quran with wrong intention. وَمَا عَلَيْنَا إِلَّا الْبَلَاغُ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ عَمَّا يَسِفُونَ وَسَلَامٌ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد